Good afternoon, my name is Andre Swart. I'm the newly appointed Chief Operating Officer of the University of Johannesburg. I've commenced in that role as of 1 April 2018. Prior to that, I was the Executive Dean for the Faculty of Health Sciences for a period of 12 years. And before that, I had 20 years, more than 20 years experience within the broader university community. What does this new job mean for me and what does it entail? The Chief Operating Officer has got a number of tasks to focus on and a number of them include as follows. Firstly, the whole aspect related to operations. It's including new building structures, maintenance of our buildings, creating an environment and infrastructure that's conducive to us to achieve our aims and objectives where we would like to take this university. Second aspect is protection services to provide an environment where our students, our staff, our visitors, our alumni would all feel comfortable and safe visiting us and also creating an environment for our students and staff to flourish with their activities. The third aspect relates to information communication systems, which is a very important aspect of the drive where this university wants to see it in future. And that relates to our Wi-Fi our data systems, how do we store our data, how do we create access to it, our operating systems to ensure that the, the systems can function. Also the whole aspect of occupational health and safety, which is a very important aspect, once again talking to the safety and enhancement of the environment. Where we would like to see this university going, my vision for this portfolio, First of all, we've got to start, where does the Vice-Chancellor want to take this university? We know that the Vice-Chancellor wants to contextualise, position the university as a leading university, not just on the continent internationally. It plays a significant role in light of the fourth industrial revolution. How do I see my role? I need to create an environment that's conducive for the VC to achieve his aims and objectives for this university. That means that we've got to have facilities that's conducive to teaching, learning, research, as well as community engagement activities. An information system that enables students to access data in a seamless manner, various points on campuses, off campuses, that enable them to continue with their studies. As I've said earlier, when we have visitors, our staff, our students, our alumni, that can come to the environment, feel safe in those wonderful gardens that we have. That leads me to another point, the whole aspect about cleanliness and the maintenance of our facilities. Of course, as much as we've got to create this environment that's conducive to achieving the aims and objectives of the university, it's of the utmost importance that we have an environment that people feel that they can walk in safely, it's clean, that they can visit and feel comfortable walking around. To that aim, we've already started with a number of cleanup campaigns to take us forward to enhance the related aspects of people's experiences on campus. One other important aspect that I need to allude to is the whole importance of positioning the university as a university that's also sensitive, not just related to the fourth industrial revolution, but also related to aspects that impact not just on us nationally but globally. Aspects such as climate change, how do we use our energy in a manner that talks about responsibility? How do we conserve water usages and stuff? So as much as the VC is looking at repositioning the university within the fourth industrial revolution, one of my key aspects is to create this enabling environment for us to achieve that, but also to make us a sustainable university that people would look at and say that we're also sensitive not just to the needs of our students, staff, other role players, but also playing a significant role in the sustainability of the planet as we go forward. How do we take this forward? Firstly, let's talk about staff. One of the key aspects of the portfolios is to have a much more proactive approach to service delivery. We do think that for staff in future, we want to have turnarounds reduced. We want more cost optimization, efficiency in services that we provide. Staff should feel the features of the university, the environment we create for them, really creates that enabling environment for them to be productive in working towards the vision of the University of Johannesburg. If we look at students, obviously they will also benefit from the advantages that I've mentioned related to the staff. But I think there's a number of issues to students that becomes very important. The first one is, is that we have residences that's conducive for them to be productive in their studies. We have to ensure that the students have an environment in where they can flourish in their studies and other related student activities. So that's a key aspect we're going to focus on in future. 
the accessibility to Wi-Fi that's seamless, that's strong, that they can continue doing what they're supposed to do as students. But also very important, we also need to look at the inter-campus bus transport and how does that function in an effective manner for the students. We do know that's one area that do require additional attention. Overall, the students should feel that when they study at the University of Johannesburg, our classroom should speak to the future fit requirements of the future. How do we make them responsible citizens, but also a great understanding of living the whole aspects of the Industrial Revolution, the 4.0 as it's referred to. I really appreciate this opportunity to share some of my thoughts with all of you. I do think there will be regular updates. I do think that taking this process forward, it cannot just be an activity from my portfolios, my office, the colleagues in my portfolios, but it's got to be a joint venture from all of us in the university. And I look forward to your contribution, your participation in taking this university forward in the fourth industrial revolution.